Hi guys, welcome to this video in the series Java Tutorials for Beginners. In this video we're going to be looking at logical operators. What I've done here is created a um, an authenticate class, which is basically just going to, we're going to be learning how to use logical operators through kind of basic authentication. We've got here a method verify user, so let's just add some code in here. So we're going to carry on from um, where we left off in the last um, tutorial where we were talking about if statements so this is the basic body of the if statement we're going to have a condition in um, as part of this if, if statement as we did before and as, as we did before it only contained one condition it was something is more than something or something equals something what a logical operator does is it allows you to have multiple conditions within one if statement for example if we had something like I'm actually just going to create a few variables here beforehand so this makes it a little bit easier. So we've got int first num equals 100, int second num equals 200, and boolean is valid equal to true. So what this is going to do now is we're going to insert into the condition of the if statement we're going to say if first num is more than 50 and then we're going to use the ampersand symbol so it's a symbol above the it's above the 7 on my keyboard so it's two ampersands and that is the logical operator and so if we do something like uh, second that should be first num and second num is more than 150, for example, or let's just say something like 190. So what this is saying is if this condition and this condition is true, then the resultant of this whole if statement is true. So if, for example, if second number was 170, then this would resolve to false because yes, this is true, but this isn't true. And as we said, if it's an ampersand here, so we're saying it's an and operator, both sides of the um, of the and operator have to be true. So in this case, it would this would resolve to true, this root would resolve to false. So the entire if statement would resolve to false. So it would not um, perform the code that's inside it. Let's go for something else. So let's say, let's just make an example of this. So let's let's do a system dot out dot print line, open brace, and let's just say passed, and then we'll say else system dot out dot print line failed. Let's just run this code so we can just see this in action. So what we were expecting to see here is that this would be true and this would be false. So it would we'd expect it to go to the else part because this is not true. So it says anything else, print this out. In other words, print out the string failed. So let's let's see that. So let's compile, let's create a new instance of the class and verify the user, and you can see that it's come up failed. So if we now change a um, change a value for second number in here to be say 220, so now the second part of this if statement, sorry, the second part of the um, and operator, the right hand side here, will now resolve to true because second number is 220, which we've assigned here already, and it's 220 is more than 190. So Let's go out of there, compile, you authenticate, and verify user, and it says passed. There's also another logical operator that we can use, and it's the OR operator. And to use the OR operator, it's the two bars on the keyboard. So it's um, it's the key next to the shift. So you have to um, you have to press down shift twice. It's the key next to the shift. 
So it's two vertical bars. And this represents an OR. So what this will say is, if we have now is valid, if I actually get rid of that and so it's not too confusing. So if we say without the first, so now it's basically the same as before, but we've just written it as with an OR instead. So it's now got a logical OR operator. So what this OR operator will say is if either this one or this one is true, then the entire if will resolve to true. Whereas previously when we had it with ampersand means that both sides have to resolve to true. This would pass because second number is 220 and we know that 220 is more than 190. So without even checking this other side, it will already resolve to true because only one side has to of the or operator. Also note that I've put here is valid equals equals true. You don't actually have to do that. I just did that um, for clarity. But what you can do is to in, not even declare true at all. You can just leave it as is valid and it will recognize and it'll say, you know, it'll default it to true. So if you wanted to say false, you can just put a uh, an ex exclamation mark in front of is valid. And that will say if second number is more than 190 or is valid is false because we said that this uh, exclamation mark kind of uh, refers to something like not. So in, in that sense, it would be not is valid. In other words, if it's false, not true, because we've set is valid to true. So it's that exclamation mark is basically the opposite of whatever this is. We cannot we can also express it if we want to say not true. We can also say not equals true. So you know, to be more explicit. So this is basically saying again, is valid, if is valid, does not equal true. So as it stands here, this if statement would result in this, as we said, still being true. So it wouldn't even check the other part, but say if we had this as being, um, you know, we could, say, we could change this value to say, if second number is more than 250, say, then this side, would resolve to false and this side would resolve to false as well so it would go to failed so let's just see that in action so if we go compile you authenticate and we'd expect now to see failed for example now if we wanted to say true we could just get as we said we could just get rid of we could either if we want to say um is valid equals equals true we could just leave it like this or we could take that out completely and just leave it as it is, is valid with nothing else because because of the fact that it's a Boolean. So it doesn't need anything else. Assuming that we run this, this will fail, but this will pass. And because of the OR operator, as we said, we only need either the left hand side, this or this to be true. And is valid, we know is true because the value that, that we've set is true. So it will result in passed. I'll just run that. run the method verify user and we can see that it's passed. So I'm going to leave it there for this video. I'm not going to go into any more detail in that. Thank you for listening. If you did find this video useful, then um, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe.